It's Missy. Let me let me fix you here. So I am. Is that better? Maybe. Maybe. It is so hot. It is. I swear to God, it's like 90. I'm dying. I'm dying. I feel sweaty and hot. Ah, oh, it's so hot. Okay. <clears throat> so today is the day of April's first unboxing video. Woot woot. While I was gone on vacation, my books came oof, from, of course, where's the picture? Book outlet. And it's really heavy, like always. And then I also got something from Amazon. I think this is a... I think this is a bookmark, but we'll see. I'm like, this is a huge container for one bookmark. But we'll open that last and see. And then if it's not part of the book, not part of my books, then I'll just cut that bit out. Anyways, are you guys excited? I'm always so excited to open up books. And I've been waiting. I waited all day yesterday. The kids are still in school. My husband's in the living room and he's watching a movie. So I have the room to myself to do the unboxing. I'm using a pen because I'm too lazy to go anywhere. Well, <laughs> across the room to the desk. So here's the ripping. I don't know if you can hear that. Pens are crap. I should have just used scissors. Open up. Whew, yes. All right. <laughs> I'm so excited. Just open up the box. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not strong enough for that. I still need the pen. You guys have a good weekend. I did. Well, for the most part. Saturday, we came back from camping. And so all Sunday, I just put everything away and did like six loads of laundry. Fun times. We'll talk about that later. First of all, paper. More paper. More paper. All right, the first book um, in the box is, yes. Now, um, before we get started, okay, I believe this is 21 books. And again, I didn't look any of these up and they just sounded good when I was, you know, browsing. Cause when I go on to Book Outlet, what I do is I, Look at all of the covers. Does the covers intrigue me enough to read in depth into what the book is about? And then if the book says anything that has to do with horror or mystery or thrillers or some kind of killing or who knows what happened, I tend to buy it. And lately I've been ignoring some of the three stars on Goodreads and just getting it anyway because they look good. So the first one, let's make sure that there's no glare, is City of Dark Magic by Magnus Flight. Magnus Flight. I got this book because the name's Magnus. We all know who Magnus Bane is, don't we, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, this did look good, um, but I bought it because it said Magnus. And I'll just read you a little bit of what's up top here. It says, this deliciously madcap novel has it all. Murder in Prague, time travel, a misanthropic, misanthropic, am I saying that right? Beethoven, tantric sex, and a dwarf with an attitude. Okay, just, if you skip everything and you just read a dwarf with an attitude, that right there it is, is good times. I want to read a dwarf with an attitude. Is there anything cool on the inside? Ooh, look at a map. I do so like maps. And it's, in, it's all in Prague. The next book is a hardcover. And it's called Tender Morsels by Margot Lanigan. There was a few of Margot's books on Book Outlet, so I just kind of bought them all. And um, this is supposed to be like a totally disgusting uh, book about, like, animal love bow, chicka, bow, bow. who knows but um 
I was interested. And I have seen a couple people, it's just blue, um, have this on their bookshelves. And so hmm, I kind of wanted to read it. And it's 436 pages or so. So it's going to be a nice, you know, big read there. Exciting times. I also got the book Damsel by Stephanie Spinner. And um, I thought this might be a, a dark kind of uh, historical fiction. I, I liked the dress on the cover. Like I said, I, I tend to look at the covers. If the covers look interesting, then I will then, you know, read the synopsis and then see if I want to buy it. Next, this is called Red Spikes, also by Margot Lanigan. And this is actually um, short stories, a whole bunch of short stories from this woman. Um, it was only like $2.99, so I, of course I, I had to buy it. Yes, this book looks so creepy. This book is called Scary Monsters. No, this book is called The House of Dead Maids, Maids, like Cleaning Maids, by Claire B. Dunkel. And I'm sorry, should I explain that the spooky face caused me to put it in my cart? I don't even care what it's about. It's got spooky face. Gimme, gimme, spooky face. Next is Dark Companion by Marta Acosta. Pretty girl. Well, hair. Lovely hair. And the dress in a creepy, uh, I don't know, creepy woods. And uh, I wanted it. I wanted it. And just a gray book. I don't have very many gray books. I, I, I like the gray a lot better than, than black. Very nice, very nice. Next, I got Scarlet by Thomas Empson. This is book one of the Vampire Trinity. Um, I didn't really look to see if they had any more. I just wanted to see if this one was good first. A Plague is Coming. So it's a vampire book. And um, yeah, vampires. I like the cover. It looked like a creepy man. Did I, did I mention that my bookshelf cannot hold any more books and that they're double stacked? Yeah. I even had to get rid of the library shelf because I can no longer afford to waste a shelf on library books. So the library books are now again on the ground where they used to be before I got the shelf. Next, I got Wide Open by Deborah Coates. And... Nah, I don't know what this book is about either, obviously. Just black. Um, but I liked, ooh, I liked the, the colors on the cover, so I got it. Oh, look, finally, there's the paper. Where's my coupon at, man? Oh, there it is. Coupon! And books. Books. Do I have any? Ooh. Ooh, that's... That's dangerous. I have two coupons that have not been used yet. <sighs> Things are falling down. I'm just, I'm just done with it now. Next, okay, this one, I just, come on now. Look, look at, that's an old picture of a lady, a creep lady. This is called The Painted Bridge by Wendy Wallace. Um... Chilling, heartwarming, very well written and researched. This is an unusual novel about Victorian England. Okay. I like the picture. And it's just got the blue. Just a blue book. Ooh. No, no, uh, no anything else. All right. Ooh, yes. Next is The Library of Shadows by Miko Birkengard. This, this is the reason why I bought all the books in my basket. There was only three left in all of book outlet land, and so I had to buy it. This one's really thick, too. I didn't expect it to be so dense, as in thick. <laughs> Anyways, 
it's about 426 something like that pages long like it here we go next we have firefly rain by richard dansky and um looked cool like a like a house in you know a bog or not a bog what am i trying to say like a swamp there we go <laughs> a house in a swamp creepy next i got anti-goddess by kendar blake this one is the first one um in the goddess war kendar blake wrote the uh where it says right here anna dressed in blood i also have the sequel which i haven't read yet but i do like her writing and um so i'm interested in reading this book i really don't know what it's about but i'm assuming since it's the same artist she's gonna have you know it's gonna be like a creepy horror book <clears throat> next i got the raft by s.a bodine and this this book is about a a girl <clears throat> I kind of remember the synopsis, but she's on a plane, and the plane goes down, but she wasn't on, like, the register, registrar, she wasn't on the list, on the plane list of people who were on it, so nobody knows that she was on the plane, so she doesn't think anyone's going to actually be looking for her, so we'll, we'll see. It's got a very weird feel to it, like, um almost like grimy if that is the right word like uh yeah it feels kind of it feels dirty I i'm sure it's not dirty but it feels grimy i don't know okay next i have the reverend by sonia gensler this looks like like a little ghostly historical fiction um, this is about seances, and I love the seances. I just read the book, um, In the Shadow of Blackbirds. That one had about, had seances in it, too, and that one's from Cat Winters. If you like seances, check out the Cat Winters book, and then I will be reading this one and letting you guys know what I think about it. Next, I have Lucid. Um, by Adrian Stoltz and Ron Bass. Um, I think this is kind of like the Wake series or Insomnia. Um, those, both those books are about dreams. And I think this is what that is. What if you could dream your way into a different life? So, we'll see how... Just black. I, although I do like that it's pink. Like a metallic purpley color that's pretty but it looks interesting I'm excited to read it next we have throat by a r nelson this girl bites back ooh 17 year old emma has a curse her epilepsy with its embarrassing unpredictable seizures has cost her friends and derailed her dreams she can't even legally drive. The curse is ruining her life until it saves her. I don't know what that's about, but um, sounds interesting to me. Ooh, look. It's got the phases of the moon. So, does this mean she's a werewolf or something? I don't know. We'll find out. I don't have any more room. Oh, damn it. I'll just put it here. Next. Next. Next is The Bookman's Tale, a novel of obsession. Yes, please. I am obsessed with lots of things by Charlie Lovett. And, um, duh, I bought this book because it's about books. And I tend to do that. I buy books about, ooh, books. Look how pretty. CL, Charlie Lovett. Gorgeous, darling. I love it. <laughs> love it. Don't laugh at me. I'm a dork, okay? Come on. Get on the shelf without getting too messed up. More paper. 
three, well, three more books in this box plus one that I'm going to be discussing shortly. The next is The Raven's Bride by Lenore Hart. Okay, um, one of these days I'm going to do the tag, my influential books tag. I will. I said I would. I will. Um, but her name's Lenore, and I love Edgar Allan Poe, and her name's Lenore. And there is a poem called Lenore from Edgar Allan Poe, and here's a raven, and this is the raven's br I don't care. It's going to be cool. I, because I said so. It's going to be cool because I said so. Next is... The Brides of Roll Rock Island. This one is also by Margot Lanigan. And what was this book about? A sea maid. I think it's about like maybe a siren. And um, I'm excited as always with every book that I buy. Just blue. I think all of her books were blue with like a brown um, spine. Anywho, excited. All right, this one, I cannot remember who bought this book last, um, but I did see it on someone's book haul. And I can't, I wish I could remember who it was. I should have looked it up first, but I saw this cover and I was like, ooh, that's so cool sounding. Because the person who talked about it said it was like, um, oh, Japanese steampunk with mythical creatures, Patrick Rothfuss quoted whatever on here. But this is called Storm Dancer, The Lotus War, book one. This chick's got tattoos. She's badass. And a katana na 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 And this is by Jay Kristoff. Um, yeah, I'm excited to read it. And then it's black with a red spine. Excited. All right, last book. Last book of the haul is, ta-da, The Solitary House by Lynn Shepard. It also has the decal pages. And that brings me to the end of my book haul. And I will also be doing another video after this. Oh, before, before I finish, let's find out what Amazon sent me. Shall we? Is it my bookmark? I would be really excited if it's my bookmark. Let's see. It is my bookmark. Ooh. That's really weird. Okay, they sent me two. I'm pretty sure... I did buy two. I didn't mean to buy two. Well, I... It's not like I can't live with another bookmark. Anywho, it says keep calm and type on. And it's got like a little stony, glittery thing as the tassel. Pretty pretty. And I now I have two of them. A duplicate. Which is great because I'm reading four books as we speak and I only had three bookmarks. And so now I have five, which gives me a total of five books that I can read at one time and still have bookmarks. So yay! So that was that was my book haul for this month. I'm not going to promise anything, okay? But I would really like that to be the only book haul I do this month because I have other things to buy. Like my sons need a bunk bed and I need another bookshelf. So we'll see. Anyways, like always, if you've read any of these books, let me know down below in the comments if they're good. Um, I'm excited to read, and I swear to God, this is the last month, like April. It's April. All of these books on my floor will be read this month so I can start on my bookshelf because I really want to read these awesome-looking books here on my shelf that I already own. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.